As you drive along Highway 40, the first thing you notice about Barnes Jewish Hospital is the iconic Queenie Tower. Queenie Tower has served our patients and families since 1965, and it has memories. At the time, it was one of the best parts of Barnes Hospital. Anytime you mention Barnes, they say Queenie Tower. That's how it became linked with St. Louis. Mr. Queenie's full name is Edgar Monsanto Queenie, and he was the last of the Monsanto family to be responsible for Monsanto and he then became the chair of the board of Barnes Hospital. In those days, hospitals were mainly hospital beds. Clinics were down in the basement somewhere. Parking was hell. There was no cafeteria for other than staff. I mean, there were 40 beds in a room with curtains that you could pull around them and no sort of privacy. Bathrooms at the end of the hall. It was sort of the very beginning of getting rid of the wards. Mr. Queenie, had the vision. He said, I want something that if I'm gonna put my name in this building, I want it unique. And so he had these consultants roll in and came up with a plan that was more or less what was Queenie Tower in those days. It was originally set up to be a long stay, healthcare-based hotel. In its era, it was the newest, the most modern, the most contemporary place to come for care. Hospital beds, doctor's offices, parking in the basement, modern efficiencies, a great restaurant at the top with a bar, with a swimming pool and a hotel. All of that was in Queenie Tower. Everything was done with such incredible taste. When you entered the boardroom, you felt like you were in another area of life. This was typical Mr. Queenie. His idea was the tower restaurant at the top that was to become the best restaurant in St. Louis. Queenie Tower itself, the operation of it was part of food and nutrition. It was like a home away from home. Everybody was just nice and cordial and concerned and considerate of each other and helping each other out. You just developed a, a relationship with them also. It became the, the sort of the beginning of what the medical center is now, that you could have high class care with facilities but not just for the rich, but for everybody. It overlooked Forest Park. It had great views to the south, to the north. It was one of the best parts of Barnes Hospital. We had people coming from all over the world to come and see this new kind of facility, and it became sort of the model of things. It was a landmark, only replaced by the arch. Queen Tower has served this institution very well for over 50 years. Queenie was first, so I can very much remember people from all over the country coming to look at it. This was a key part to changing it and making it more modern and better for patients. It is, however, getting to the end of its life, and models of care are evolving in such a way that you need different kinds of buildings now, high-performing buildings, to deliver the care that is needed. The big differences in new facilities are going to all single occupancy rooms or private rooms as that has proven to be a better way to take care of patients. And so the new building that will sit on the site of Queenie Tower will be designed in such a way that any space in the building can support any level of care over time. New facilities are an advantage. There is no doubt about that. And so the replacement for Queenie Tower will allow us to do our very, very, very best work. The Queenie Tower building, it was a landmark, you might say, not only to the medical center, but to St. Louis. Queenie Tower, it's a place that I think people who have ever resided in St. Louis will long remember. And it's, it's not something that just came and went, it's something that's a true hallmark of the St. Louis community.